Today's RBI dives into the world of politics, but hold on, don't turn the dial. This is not, this is data, not opinion. And if you think that most people already have their mind made up about who they're gonna vote for, you're right. In fact, you're more right than you may know. Look at this. JP Morgan aggregated data from a bunch of sources and found out this, that the smallest percentage of American voters do not know who they're gonna vote for right now since 1932. In fact, for much of our history, as many as 20 or 25% of voters did not know who they were gonna vote for just weeks before the election. That's the blue line. The candidates probably weren't all that different. But even four years ago, a huge percentage didn't know. Many of those went to Trump, as we do know. But now the sides are chosen. Look at that blue line, under 5%. And you gotta go all the way back to FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, to find a time when all the voters in America were already this sure of who they were going to vote for. 88 years of presidential history, random, but interesting. And by the way, and in the lead up to the election, I'm hitting the road next week. I'm hitting a lot of roads. Join us for the next 10 days for the election roadmap road trip. I will be traveling by car, by myself, across nine states, including some of the key battleground contests. We're gonna tell you the states, the counties, the cities that turned the election in 2016 that may turn it again this year. What are those counties? There's not many of them. You'd be shocked to know what might happen. The Great American Roadmap Road Trip, nine days, nine states, one election. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna end up each of those days, I know, but you gotta tune in here to WEX and CNBC all day, starting next week through the election, going out to meet some of the stories and the people that might turn it as well. The only way to learn is to actually go out and talk to people. Novel concept. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.